Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Impress. In this module, I want to talk about the views you get in Impress, and in particular, how you can manipulate a master view, create a master slide. Now, what is a master slide? Say you've got 50 slides, and you want to change the font on all 50 slides. You don't really want to be going through each individual slide and changing the font on them separately. You go into what's called the slide master, change the font once, and that will cascade through all the other slides at the same time. It is a really, really cool feature. So let's have a look. Now on the screen, I've got the first slide as, as you'd always get when you open in press, and it's asked me to pick a theme. For this session, I don't need to pick a theme. I'm just gonna close that off. But I, I am gonna just add a few slides here. So I'll just do Waterloo as I always do, um, 18th of June, 1815. And then I want a new slide, so let me get a slide. So I'll go British Forces, and then we'll just do bits and bobs. Wellington, Picton, Ipswich. Spell it wrong. Then one more slide, French forces, French forces, Napoleon, Ney, and Murat. Now, let's say I want to look at this slide show that I've created three slides slightly differently. So there are some views that you can have a look at before I get into the slide master view. And they're sitting at the top here. We're in what's called normal view. You can see normal view there. You get the whole slide. You can scroll down a bit. You know, you can make it bigger. You've got some tools on the right there. Next to it, you've got this outline view, which will show you a mini preview of your slides and then the outline of the slides. Now, what's this outline about? Basically, it's allowing you to sort of basically sit and highlight a bit of text and then move it like so, drag it up the screen if you want, or even move it onto a different slide. Now, he wouldn't want to be on the British slide, so I'll pull him back down underneath Nay. So that's what the outline view is for. You've got a mini preview here as well, which you can also pick up and move. You can just rotate these around if you so want. Let me just try and get that up there. There we go, French forces. And then you can just push it back. So when you practice your presentation, you might not have it in the right sequence. So that's what that's all about. So normal was the first tab. That's that one. Then you had outline. And then you've got a notes one, which basically is for you to put some notes on the slide. Down the bottom here, you can just type notes. So if I um, put, let's do a numbered list. I normally don't like to do a numbered list. So if I put a numbered list on this, and then um, we can see what the score on the door is, there we go. So when the Wellington comes on the screen, I want to say born in 1769, and then I'll mention he died in 1852. Now, when Picton comes on the screen, I want to mention at the least that he forgot his, uni his uniform. When Uxbridge comes on the screen, he lost his leg. Lost leg. That's what I'm going to say. That's the notes. I think it's important that you don't put too much on the slide. It just prompts on the slide. And then also the notes that you're going to say, don't put too much there as well. I see so many presentations with war and peace in the notes bit and nobody's ever reading them. So that's the notes one. And then slide sorter will just show you a complete array of all your slides, which you can again move, pick up and move around if you so wish in this view. Now, if I go back to normal, let's say you've created this presentation and you want the bullets to change. So these are just the default bullets. All the slides, if I go into outline again, you'll see them all. They've all got the same bullets. So come back into normal. If I go onto the view tab for a minute, on there you've got a slide master view. You can see it there. When I go into this, it'll just be one slide that I see, but I can edit this slide and it will affect all the others. So basically, let's just highlight all of this, all of these levels. 
Now, if I go to the bullets, there's a little drop down arrow next to the bullet, and I could just change that to something else. I'll change it to these little arrows. So it looks like it's changed it on there, which is great. I can also put images on this, which I will do. If I go to, let's try this, insert image. I've got two images there. So if I say that's a logo, it's just the union flag, push that into the top corner, like so, that's going to go on every slide. That's going to be on every slide. And if you wanted to change the font style or make everything bold, you could. Now, to change the colour, what I need to do is get off this box, because this box is active. Go onto that box, and then you can you can see you've got the background image, which I'll do in a minute. And then you've got this option, Format, which gives you the different options there. So you've got background, colour, and then you can pick a colour, which I'll pick a bit of a garish colour, that one. OK, to that. You can also do the image through there as well. You can do the image through the right hand side. But if I go for this one and pick that image, let's go for that one. You can see that's coming in there now. So that image is in the background of this slide and every other slide. Now you might need to play around with the text here. That's, that's quite hard to see. I probably picked a bad image there. I'll make that text bold. I'll make this text bold as well. That's the title text. Stands out a little bit. You might need to change the colour. And sometimes the background, if you pick a picture for the background like that, no matter what you do in terms of making it bold or changing the colour, it's not really having any effect. Let's go for white, see what happens. Click off that. A little bit better. But this top line's a bit iffy. So I'm going to say to you, be careful with the background image, but the process I'm showing you is whatever you do on the slide master, is going to cascade down all the other slides at the same time. So if I go back to the, the view slide there and just click off this for a minute. So I'll go on to the master slide. Come out of this, you're clicking on close slide master and then you're back into your slide. So you can see there, it's not great, but you've got that image in the background. You've got that flag on the slide and you've got these bullets. Now, if I go into outline view so you can see all of them, you can see that that image is on each slide and so is this background image and the font is white on every slide. So if you had a presentation of 100 slides, you go into the slide master, you change all the elements that you want to change and then it cascades through them all. You can also add transition and animation through that option as well. So if I go back into it for a second, view, master slide, if I get into normal so I can see the thing over on the on the right hand side, you've got some tools. You can do it through the right mouse click as well. But if I come down through these, you can see all these features you've got over here. But the transition and um, animation of these two. So I click on transition first off. So if I pick that, that's going to be. I'll click, I'll click the bottom there, but it doesn't really matter because it's a slide master, it would have done that. And if I go to animation, I'll need to click on this this text box. I'll just pick on the little star, I'll just pick something random. Um, so I'll go for, what can I go for? Checkerboard. I'll go for that one. And add that to the top there. Let's see what happens there. I've added it twice. Delete that one. Okay, now let's come out of this slide master. Click back onto there. Close the slide master. So that before I do, that's a bit iffy. That is when you're when you're not on the back of the slide, the the toolbar at the top there or the ribbon is changing. Wherever you're clicking, it's sort of giving you different list. So now you can see I can close this now. So you need to be on the actual back of the slide, and I'll close that down. And then you're back on this. Now, if I go into outline again, you've got these little animation stars that you can see down this left hand side. So that's what you've applied to every slide by just doing it on one. Now, if I put this into presentation mode, if I go and have a look at the actual presentation, if I go back into normal for a minute. You will see that the animation is 
going to be working as you expect it to. So I'll just put this into, into full screen. So I'll go from the, the first slide on that. So this is going to put this into full screen. So because I've got two monitors, it's um, showing me this is the instructor's view. I've got them the wrong way around. But let's see what happens when I change it over. It's still doing the dissolve look. You can see it dissolving there. The text is coming in as well like that and eventually it'll just come back to the end and then you can press escape to come out of it so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can look at the different views that you get in impress how you can create a slide master and edit the slide master and get yourself um, a really cool presentation very very quickly so hopefully it's of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one